a company working to make the world more accessible for people with disabilities, is South Korean-based startup Dot Inc. They've created a new movable braille technology that allows people with visual impairments to access information more easily and conveniently. Since it was founded in 2015, Dot Inc. has won numerous awards for their range of products and has drawn the attention of big names like Stevie Wonder and Andrea Bocelli. Eric Kim is co-founder and CEO of the company. We have a mission to help disabled people around the world. And at first, we started with the mission to help uh, visually impaired people. There was no tactile screen for them so that blind people can interact with the visual contents like images, charts, uh, all the graphics. Uh, many inventors and schools actually tried to solve it, but no, one's, no one actually succeeded it. So we thought it's the first company which actually invented the first tactile screen for the blind people around the world. The screen offers a tactile display that makes images touchable, giving people with visual impairments access to maps, diagrams, charts and other illustrations. The surfaces are divided into two. The upper section is larger to allow bigger presentations of images that users can touch. So you can see the CNBC logo right away. The lower section is meant for text, giving captions to the images interpreted by the dot pad. You can also read in Braille here. The software uses AI to analyze and replicate visual input, meaning on-screen content can be felt on the pad displayed in real time. Inside the pad, the actuator technology uses electromagnetism which lowers the size, weight and power consumption of the product compared to traditional tactile devices. On screen, we have 2,400 dots that individually goes up and down. And here we have uh, 20 cells which is 160 dots here to create braille. This is a typical braille uh, size and here the dot size is same. The small startup has big ambitions, but it's not without challenges. I found out that in inclusive technology world, there are a lot of problems existed that needs the help of entrepreneurs. And it is true that it's, it's really hard to create a sustainable business with the inclusive technology. But if there's a will, there's a way. Uh, there are a lot of governments uh, have their budgets to help disabled people and there are a lot of organizations and great-minded people so we are working with them and right now we are scaling up this technology more than 10 countries. Aside from creating a way for the blind and visually impaired community to experience images and graphics, the pad is also aimed at users who do not know how to read braille. There are 285 million visually impaired people and around 40 million people are blind. But learning Braille is quite hard because it's more than 70 to 80% of people became blind in their later ages. So it's actually really hard to learn all the things like Braille's and everything. So that actually making a gap for their education, for their employment. So there was only tactile books. So with this, you can just communicate with computers in a lot of platforms that you used before. Many people in the U.S. saying this technology is like a holy grail of Braille. 